Hey everyone, welcome to Moon 12216 Reviews. Um, my hair I know looks kind of, ooh, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm just going to try to get this video done, and then I am going to bed. I have tried this video multiple times, and I've had so much trouble with lighting. It's just horrible. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is, hopefully this will work this time, um, a tutorial. I can't even talk right. Um, a how-to video for the Sephora Afterglow eyeshadow I got. They call it a micro-smooth eyeshadow. It is smooth on the eyes. I guess that's why they call it a micro-smooth. Yeah, I'm wearing a robe because I'm kind of cold. Um, we're going to be using Bella Brush Kit. And I've already took the brushes out that I'm going to be using. And the brushes did not come with the eyeshadow. Okay, there was one brush. Let me pause this for a minute. I got to dig. So this is the one brush we we will be using. We'll be using two brushes. This one and this contoured one with the little the angled eyeshadow brush. My words are not working very well with me today. Um, this one I'm going to use in my crease. This one I'm going to use for the application of the base coat in the eyelid. This one's going to be for the crease. So first thing we need to do, if I can find it, I have some primer, a primer sample I got with, I got with my um, eyeshadow when I bought it. It was a free primer sample and I think it went south I don't know it's not coming out of the packet well there's some of it I think it's drying up I only had it open for like an hour and it's already drying up. It must be a cheap product. Well, cheap sand. Let me not do that because if I put those on my head, I got a feeling my hair is going to pull it out with it. Okay. I can't zoom in because I got the wrong side of the camera for that. Last time I used this primer, it burnt pretty bad. And unfortunately, I am out of primer. You know, the big container. So I'm going to go try and go to Walmart and find some cheap. Because the last primer I had was the sa that I actually liked was a sample primer. And it came from Target. And Target's no longer doing the beauty bags that I got. You know, beauty bag sample bags. They're no longer sending those out. This feels kind of sticky. But it's pretty much what I've got to work with. So I applied the primer. My lips are kind of dry, so they're bugging me. And I'm hoping the lighting's alright. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more out of the primer for the other eye. It is starting to burn a little bit. I don't know why this stuff burns, but it does. And, by the way, I can't really see my eye from this distance from the camera. Because my vision... I don't remember if it's nearsightedness or farsightedness. I can see, like, shapes and stuff. And I can see kind of a rough outline, but small details, like, no, it's just like small details I can't see very well without my glasses. So, we got the primer applied. And now, what we're going to do is put the glasses back on. And try to do something about my hair. Okay, I might do a fast speed on this where I speed certain parts up. I am wearing a shirt. Yeah, just letting you guys know I am wearing a shirt under the robe. It's an old shirt, but I don't really care because it's basically what I clean the house in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is throw that to the side, the primer to the side. We're going to take, wrong brush, this brush... 
and we're going to get in this light, the lightest color, which is this one, and this is going to be our base. And I've got like a gnat or something flying around me. And we're just going to apply it. Like so. I'm going to do the rest of it without my glasses here. Like I said, I'm going to see if I can speed some of these parts up so it won't take so long. Because it takes me a few minutes to apply this. Somebody else might be a whole lot faster. It's coming along. Like I said, I'm at the I'm gonna have to do another coat. Okay, so we're gonna get the base coat again because you I noticed you can't really see it. And it is a very light pigmented color, so that's why I'm having a little bit issues trying to get it showing up. There we go. That's better. You can see the glitter. If I had somebody to hold a camera for me, it'd probably go a lot better, but unfortunately I don't. Because everybody that I know is not very grand with cameras. Okay. Well, it's not that they're just not used to my camera, so they'd have a lot of issues with it. Because it is a pain in the butt sometimes. And... Yeah, so I have to do it by myself because I don't have a, when the camera has fits, how to fix it. So we got another coat for the other eye. And I am trying to get it a little bit above my crease. And there we go. See how that looks? I know you guys can't really see the color. Like I said, it is so light pigmented, and that's like leftover powder that's not wanting to come off. It's leftover face powder. I thought I cleaned all that off earlier. Well, I don't have to buy that anymore. It's paying the butt to get off your face. I don't even remember what face powder that was. It was a sample. Okay, I'm going to apply one more coat to each eye of this face. Because I am not liking how it's not showing up. There. And of course I got a little bit of face powder there still. Now I did try to get all the face powder off but unfortunately it did not all come off. Come off. Okay so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna take the eyeshadow brush again I'm gonna clean it off on a um, makeup remover cloth. Okay, and now we're going to take it to the second color, which is next to the light color, and it's the light brown. We're going to swipe it a few times, so hopefully we don't have to go back and get more of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to apply it just to the eyelid. You can kind of see the light brown color already because you can compare this eye to this eye. Like I said, I am having a lot of lighting issues. I try to do these videos when the sun's still out, but I don't always, I'm not always able to. And I'm accidentally getting it in my crease. Okay, that's not bad. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to apply one more coat to this eye. Well, the leftover that's on the brush from the other eye. So that's not bad at all. 
So what we're going to do, I'm going to put my glasses on and see what it looks like with my glasses. So I'm going to pause the video for this. And I know my hair is like, woo. Next thing we're going to do is take this contoured um, eyeshadow brush. Also called an angled eyeshadow brush because it is angled. And we're going to get in our darkest color, which is the bottom one. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking the um, tip of it right here and just rubbing it in the dark eyeshadow. And I'm hoping this all goes alright. Like I said, I'm going to try to speed some of this up. If I forget anything, it will be in the description. And what you want to do is just kind of glide it in the crease. And I am going to have to clean this up when I'm done. Because as you can tell, it's kind of getting everywhere. But that's my fault because my vision, someone else with better vision that don't have to wear glasses will probably have better luck. And I might apply a little bit extra just to kind of make the color come out more. I might apply the base coat again. I'm hoping that'll pop it some, pop the color some more. Like I said, I am doing the best I can with the lighting and my vision being so bad. See, that's not bad. They just need some work. That's not bad at all. We're going to leave it like that for the angled brush. And I'm going to get the other brush out. And I'm just going to do the wrong brush. Um, another coat over the eye. So here's how it looks with my glasses on. And I know you can't really see it very good because of the um, shadows. And I haven't cleaned it up yet. That's without my glasses. Like I said, um, you can pretty much just kind of play around with it and get the amount you want on there in the coating. I would not recommend the primer I use because it burns. I don't know why it burns. It does not say not to use on your eyes. So I don't know why it's burning. And I'm going to try and do a little bit more. And I'll show you guys the finished look. Hopefully in a picture I can add to the end of this video. And I'm going to try to speed some of this up. 